Hello, First Baptist Church of Leadville. I just wanted to record a quick video for you guys so that you understand what benefits you have access to through Faith Life Connect and Faith Life Equip. And these two things that I want to show you in this video are your access to Faith Life TV, which is essentially a Christian Netflix, and also your access to Logos Bible software, which is some of the most powerful Bible software on the planet. So let me just show you real quick what that looks like. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate to fbcleadville.com. fbcleadville.com is going to be the website you want to navigate to in order to have access to these things. Once you get to fbcleadville.com, go ahead and hover over connect in the upper right corner and scroll down to membership and go ahead and click that button. Okay. Hover over connect and scroll down to membership and click that button. Now, if you scroll down, there is a little box here that says current members with member portal on it. So you're going to want to click that member portal button. Now, if you're not logged in at this point, it's going to ask you to log in, right? And so you can go ahead and log in at this point using the username and password that you've already created for Faith Life. If you do not have a Faith Life account, Jesse recorded a video on how to create a Faith Life account and navigate to it. So you can go ahead and see her video on that. Once you're logged in and you're on this member portal, you can scroll down and he here are the two things I wanted to show you. Faith Life TV which is essentially like, again, a Christian Netflix, and Logos, which is a Bible software that you can do your Bible study in. So first, let's look at Faith Life TV. Go ahead and click the button here, Faith Life TV. And this is going to bring you over to Faith Life TV. Now, here on Faith Life TV, there are tons of options. You can hit up here on the browse. You can type in the search bar. You can look at various things. But the thing that I want you to primarily look at the thing I wanted to point out to you guys is these mobile ed classes. So if you scroll down, you'll see Logos mobile ed down here, or you could even type mobile ed in the search box. But these classes, this is the thumbnail you're looking for. These are seminary level classes and they have all of the audio and all of the video that's associated with a professor being in your living room. So let's just click on one of these right here, Introducing Apologetics by Bobby Conway. And there is a whole slew of classes you can take here on Faith Life TV. So if we click this one, it'll take us into it. And this is Bobby Conway on a class on apologetics. Hours and hours of seminary level material here. This is Welcome his introduction. Introducing Apologetics. My name is Bobby Conway. And I'm excited to go with you on this tour through. Def and if you just watch through these classes, again, you're getting seminary level education. Many of these classes have been vetted and the material is good. You know, there might be the odd thing here and there that disagrees with our theology. But for the most part, faith life lines up very, very well with our theology at First Baptist Church of Leadville. I was talking with a member and they were interested in learning Greek. You come up here to the search bar, you type in Greek right here, Introduction to Biblical Greek. You can see that. You click that. And here is a class on Biblical Greek. Look, nearly 15 hours of content if you're interested in learning Greek. You can click on this. And again, the speaker it is my privilege to be your instructor for this beginning Greek course is going to walk you through that. So Faith Life TV is awesome. You've also got options for the kids. You just kick up, click up here on the kids menu. And look, here's material for all of the kids as well. And you want to exit out of kids, no problem. And you can scroll through here and just browse their website. They have tons of documentaries. I've personally watched a bunch of these documentaries and lots of good content here on Faith Life TV. So I think you're going to have a blast just going through here and watching all of the great content that's on here. And again, this is all access for our people in our church if you're a member of our church. So that's Faith Life TV. The other thing you can get is Logos Bible Software, okay? And Logos Bible Software is the most powerful Bible software on the planet. If you just click Logos right here, it's going to log you in to the app, okay? Now, here's what I want you to know. This app for Logos Bible Software is through the web browser, okay? So it's loading right now. It's trying to load up all the information. This is through a web browser. So you can access your account through a web browser and just do research that way. But if you access your account through a web browser, it requires you to have internet access all of the time. 
what if you wanted to just download the Logos Bible software and you can put it, install it locally on your machine and use your same login and that allows you to use the software offline. If you don't have access to the internet, you want to maybe put it on a, you want to put it on a laptop or even your desktop, you can download the program as well. In order to do that, go to logos.com slash install. Logos.com slash install and just follow these simple steps. Install Logos Bible software, how to install. You download and then you follow these steps, these simple six steps, and it'll allow you to install the software locally on your machine. So there's two ways to use it. You can either go through the member, member portal and it will bring it up in your browser so you can use it right here or you can actually install it locally on your machine. Both options are available to you. And once you install it, you use your same FaithLife login. Use your same username, use your same password as for FaithLife, and it should install Logos Bible software and you'll have all of those resources available to you. Now, just briefly, I want to introduce you to Logos. This is the most powerful Bible software on the planet. There's so many things you can do with it. One of the implications of that is that it can be very intimidating at first. I want to show you a relatively simple way of using it, okay? If you want to study a passage, just click up here in the this box right here where it says enter a passage or search, and here is where you're going to find easiest access to use Logos Bible software. So let's type a passage in there, John 3.16, okay? We type John 3.16 and we hit go. This opens up your Bible, okay, so you can start reading through it, and it's automatically linked to a commentary. This is Jameson Fawcett Brown, which is a very well-known commentary on the Bible, and you can scroll through, and look, it scrolls your commentary right along with it. So you can scroll through, and you can read the passage, and then you can come over here to your commentary and read what it has to say. So, for example, we're here on John 3.16, right? Here on John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. And over here, we can scroll down to John 3.16 and look at the commentary that's given by Jameson Fawcett Brown right here. What proclamation of the gospel has been so oft on the lips of missionaries and preachers in every age since it was first uttered? What has sent such thrilling sensations through the millions of mankind, what has been honored to bring such multitudes to the feet of Christ? And it's going on and on about John 3.16, obviously a very well-known Bible verse, okay? So this opens up your Bible, ESV version here on the left, and it opens up your commentary on the right, and it links them together. This top box is very, very helpful in that way for just doing your basic research. You can also type a range of Bible verses. So let's just type in John 3. Maybe you don't want 3.16 specifically, but you want the whole chapter John 3. It'll open you up to John 3 specifically. Maybe you want to go to Hebrews 2, and let's just go verses 1 to 5, right? Hebrews 2 verses 1 to 5. You can throw that in there, and it's going to take you to Hebrews 2, 1 to 5. So this is the easiest way to use your Logos Bible software. It opens your Bible, and it opens your commentary. The other thing I want you to know, though, is this library, okay? These book icons here at the top is the library that you have access to, okay? If you click that, it'll open it right here, and you see all of the resources available to you through our church license. There are 400 different resources that are available to you, okay, through our church license. So you can click that library, or if you don't like this little drop-down, you can actually drag this library icon down, and it will actually open up. Actually, you have to right-click, I'm sorry. Right-click, open in panel. Right-click, open in panel, and boom. Now the library is nested here in this panel. And look, we have a commentary, a Bible commentary on 1 Peter, right? 1 Peter, we are refugees. We can bring this up. And this is a commentary that's been, been specifically written on the book of 1 Peter, not your average Bible study, okay? And you can go through this on your own right? How to use this resource, introduction. This is a digital book that is available to you, and you can walk through this and do your own Bible study on 1 Peter, right here, 1 Peter 1, 1 through 2, 12, lesson one, born to live, right? And it talks specifically about this. It has you, it asks you specific questions. What are the primary issues that Peter addresses in this letter? Try to list at least three. Here you have an in-depth Bible study that's available to you, and look, they have one for 1 first, for first to 3 John, 2 Peter and Jude, right? 
So those are just some of those available to you. And these are in alphabetical order. And again, there are 400 books available to you. Here are some quotes from early preachers, right? Here are um, different prayers for preachers. Here are some of those mobile ed courses. You see those same things that I pointed out to you in Logos mobile ed, right? And there's just so much available to you here. Different translations of the Bible, different mobile ed courses. You can access them through here as well. Bible word studies, a how-to guide. Bible Study Magazine, Volume 11, you can look through that. So here is a bunch of materials available to you. And again, you can watch these courses directly here in Logos as well. Colossians, being like Jesus. You know, you can look these things up. So I just wanted to give you a brief introduction to that. These are, explore this library and try to see what sorts of things you might be interested in. Explore Faith Life TV. And as always, if you want to install the software directly on your computer, you have that available to you is here as well. Okay. I hope that was helpful to you guys. And I'm really excited that we're able to roll out these resources available to you. I know that many of you want to learn more. You want to grow. You want to develop. And here is a wealth, a gold mine of resources that's available to you. I'm always available if you need help, if you're clicking through, if you don't understand, and I can connect with you on the phone, I can connect with you over the computer and try to show you how to do these things, but please reach out if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about using the, these tools that are available to us now. I'm hoping these tools will allow us to grow more as a church and that we'll be able to interact on these topics together and that we'll all continue to be disciples of Jesus Christ in this way. So I hope that's helpful to you. As always, please reach out to us if you have anything additional that you need help with. Thank you so much for your time today, and I hope you have a good one. Take care. Bye now.